In the internet you can see a lot of videos of insane things that you wouldn't believe were real if they weren't recording in that second. Well, most of them aren't actually recording continuously, but they rather use a technique called clipping. That means that the past minute or so is being recorded in the background in your RAM. But only when something actually happens that's nice to be recorded, they press a button and the last couple minutes or so are actually being saved to their hard drives. Now on Windows there's a tool called Metal TV and there's a lot of other tools as well but on Linux you think, uh, no luck for me I guess, I'm gonna have to strap a dash cam to my monitor but worry not my friend because our favorite recording program OBS has got us covered. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how to install OBS and activate the replay buffer. If you already installed OBS and set it up you can skip to this timestamp but if not we're going to go right through it. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is go into your web browser, in my case it's Waterfox, and navigate to the official OBS website obsproject.com. Now just click on Linux and then it takes you to another site click here to see all the repositories that are available for the different distros and in my case I'm using Arch Linux. I have to use an unofficial build and it's pretty easy to install from the AUR. It's pretty much called OBS Studio. So I'm just gonna open my terminal and type in yay obs-studio and we now just select the one from the extra repository because that's the most trusted one. Um, just type in your password real quick and in a moment it should install. Just hit enter and there we go, it's installed. Now let's just close out of the terminal and just open it up and we're gonna be greeted with the auto configuration wizard. We're just going to optimize it for recording so uh, just hit that, click next. Just use 1080p and um, I like to use 30fps because I think that's enough. So just let the transcoder run for a bit and in a moment you're going to have the uh, best settings available for you. Actually I'm not really happy with the results that it gave me. I'm going to go into the settings and then I'm going to change the output scaled resolution also to 1080p so um, we don't have any weird um, resizing going on. Now um, what we're going to want to do is go into output, hit scroll to recording and click enable replay buffer. Now you can set right here how long you want your replay buffer to be. Um, I prefer to use 30 seconds um, if you want more or less that's perfectly fine for you but uh, I prefer this. Now uh, I'm going to say it is going to use a little bit of CPU and memory in the process while it's running in the background but uh, generally I haven't had a big problem with it. I still have nice enough frames per second to play so uh, it's decent. Now just hit apply and we are going to uh, make a hotkey to save the replay buffer. Now you can start and stop the replay buffer with a hotkey but we're not going to do that. We're going to save the replay. I'm just going to use control uh, because why not? It's going to work. Nobody is using control uh. <laughs> Now just hit apply and okay. We also need to add a screen capture because otherwise that wouldn't make much sense. Now you can see the screen, you can see the microphone is working and the desktop audio should be all set up as well. Now we just hit replay buffer and if you want to hide OBS you don't have to minimize it. You can just go into the little icon here right here and click on it that will hide OBS. Now um, whenever you do something um, li like being insanely good at Tetris it's going to save the last couple of seconds um, like oh my god I'm going to clear the row, no I'm not and if we want to save that just hit Control A and it should be saved. Just go into the recording path and it should be right there now don't open it. You can open it up with VLC for example and it works. My microphone on my laptop is terrible but l roughly the last 30 seconds uh, prior to that were clipped. It, now it works. You can press the shortcut in whatever uh, application you are running. It should work basically anywhere. If you want to have this in your auto start 
you just need to go into your settings of the auto start. In my case, since I'm using KDE Plasma, I just go into the system settings, go to auto start and add the application OBS Studio. Now um, just click on the hamburger menu to edit it. Click on application and we're going to need some uh, arguments. Now in my case I use dash dash start replay buffer then dash dash minimize to tray which is going to minimize it to the tray and I also like to specify the scene that it's using uh, in my case that's just going to be called scene. Just hit OK and it should automatically boot up once you restart your computer. Now I'm just going to do that and see if it's working. So we're back and I just got this notification that OBS is already running. That's because I used the KDE feature to restore my desktop once I boot my PC back up. So uh, you can also see, you can click launch anyway. That's a feature, so you can actually have multiple OBS instances running, but I'm not sure how stable that is, how much CPU that uses, um, because I'm just recording from the same scene that I also use for the replay buffer. You can also save the replay buffer from the GUI right here and you can stop and start it again. That's no problem at all. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have a suggestion or actually know a better way to do this, um, leave them below. Maybe I'll consider making a video on it. That's it. Goodbye.